Everything in Sable is carefully thought out. Its striking visual style, enchanting soundtrack, relatable narrative and delicate world design are all intricately woven together to draw you into this coming of age story about a girl setting off on her own into a brave new world. It feels good to be able to speak highly of this game after finally getting some hands on time with the demo. Sable started development in 2017 and for a long time felt like it didn't exist beyond the occasional gif on our Twitter timelines, painfully reminding us of the beautiful world we can only hope to explore someday. However, as the game ramps up to its planned September release, it's evident that this game is very much real and should be on your radar. That is, if you're someone who relishes the slow-paced exploration of a game like Breath of the Wild, are okay with some parts of the game being rough around the edges and the low frame rate animations make you feel charmed rather than nauseous. The demo lasted about an hour and took me through the prologue as the titular protagonist Sable prepares to set out on her journey. Starting off in Sable's home village, there is a small selection of characters who introduce the world and dish out some tasks to provide context to the exploration. From there I was encouraged to go and roam the desert landscape in search of parts to build my glider, the vehicle by which Sable will travel to far off lands. Traversal is very intuitive. You can climb anything as long as you remain within your stamina meter. Having a vehicle to stretch over long distances, climbing mechanics to scale vertical challenges and unlocking the gliding stone all act as motivation to investigate new areas by making it as simple as possible to get where you want to go. It thankfully takes a lot of notes from modern open world game design to achieve this, which is always welcome. Low frame rate animation is a bold choice in a gaming landscape where huge emphasis is placed on smooth motion. It can often make a game feel dated or poorly optimised if it's not done to perfection. Luckily, the stop motion style was barely noticeable to me after 5 minutes of my playtime, so it didn't ever bother me. Rather, thanks to the beautiful colour palette and cell shading, my brain seemed to slip right into a comfortable mode where I thought I was playing a graphic novel or a comic book. The sights of this world only made me further curious as to the nature of this world I'm exploring. The opening section of the game does an excellent job of creating a rich atmosphere and culture surrounding this wasteland. However, despite the fact that this place should feel alien, the familiar dialogue and relatable storyline makes the world feel as grounded and cosy as it does mysterious and foreign. While there is much to love about the first hour of Sable, it's plain that this is still the work of a very small team. This may negatively impact your experience if some of the less polished aspects of the game remain post-launch. However, I can say wholeheartedly that nothing in this demo interrupted my enjoyment as I got drawn further and further into this tale. Because that's what Sable is at its core. A familiar story told in an unfamiliar world. Everything else is designed with that in mind to further enhance the experience. The sights and sounds are something I don't often see in games, but Sable is not afraid to take notes from other games and stories if it means that the player gets more enjoyment out of it as a result. This is only how the adventure begins, but I can't wait to see how it ends. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed these impressions of Sable be sure to give us a subscribe down below, follow us on Twitter, link in the description, and comment below what games you're excited for so we can cover them in future impressions videos. Thanks for watching.